Good day to all of you glorious Rouskalian bastards. The name is Fox Soul. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more oh, Not Wavering Waves. As you can see on the screen, we got a video we're going to play. This is basically the Elden Ring gotcha game called Unending Dawn that will be coming hopefully soon for us. And uh, yeah, I want to sit down, take a look at some of the gameplay. We're not going to go through all 14 minutes, but we're going to watch a good bit of this and talk about it. So grab a drink, grab some chips, take a seat. Let's have some fun. So let's go ahead and play this. Since the last time I've seen this, like the actual Unending Dawn, they have updated quite a bit. The models look better, the world still looks a little bland, but it still looks like Elden Ring and it still looks good. We even got the mini map up there, which looks like Elden Ring. And we got two characters that they're going to showcase in here. Gameplay still looks sick as fuck, I'm not going to lie. Like I was said in one of my videos already before, is I'm a person who loves Dark Souls games. I was introduced to the Dark Souls series a long time ago, and I'm going to lower this down just for in case of purpose while I'm talking. Yeah, I was lower down about this. Like, legitimately, I was introduced to Dark Souls, and I ended up loving it. I played Dark Souls 2, I played Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls 3 was actually my favorite of the series, to be honest. I know not for everybody it was, but 3 was one of my favorites. Bloodborne itself was super fucking great. And then we get all the way into past Sekrio and everything, all the way to Elden Ring. And look, I talk a lot about this, like in live streams and everything, about how much I fucking love the Dark Souls series, how much I love even Lords of Fallen until the developers completely screw that over. This is what, this game right here is the one that I was talking about that I think, in all honesty, would be the killer to wave and waves for myself. Like, I love medieval shit. I like I said, I love Dark Souls, but I love medieval themes and stuff like this. Wavering Waves, I love it because of how challenging it is and everything. And this game legitimately is taking elements from Elden Ring and Sekrio and putting it together into this masterpiece of a game so far. And it's developed in Unreal Engine 5, which is even cooler. Like, this is a console game that's going to be a gotcha game. And I'm super, super excited for it. I think, like, look, like, look at the parry. That's a Sekiro parry. This right here, for me, when this game comes out, will put Wavering Waves, I'll be honest, on the back burner. Like, I will still try to cover Wave and Waste, but I will probably be covering more on Ending Dawn when this game comes out, just because of how amazing this is. I hope that, you know, there's a lot of different things that's going to happen in here, you know, that I wish will happen. One of the biggest things I hope is going to happen in here, because of the open world, and they'll take from Elden Ring, would be mounts. I would love to have a horse or something to ride on. Not just have to run from location to location and then, you know, do fast teleporting. Oh god, look how beautiful and gorgeous this is. Like the moveset, I'm not gonna lie, for the main character so far, she is kind of generic. It's like, it's like watching Wavering Waves. Oh man, I love that kick. I love how they just bashed the shit out of it after the end. It's like seeing Wavering Waves with a true parry system. With the Sekiro parry system. That is what it looks like. And legitimately, I kind of wish Wavering Waves had that. I wish Wavering Waves, it wasn't attack based where you got to attack at the same time. Look at that execution. I wish it was like you actually got to press a button and you got to parry. That I wish would been in here. I mean, been in Wavering Waves. Looks like we got a Valkyrie, it looks like, in a sense, with a staff. She's kind of gorgeous, I'll be honest. I like the butt. That's a pretty nice thick, this red there, I'll say that for sure.
The world looks great. Like like I said, the world looks like Elden Ring. It looks like an Elden Ring game, like a true anime Elden Ring. Like, I'll be, I'll even go as far as say, like, look, even the costumes look like the generic enemies from Elden Ring. Like, you almost looks like someone took like a reshader, reshaded Elden Ring, and put anime waifus in it. That's what it looks like. Like someone modded Elden Ring right now. Not gonna lie, I do like that move set. I like the character, like from what she used to look like and what she looks like now, with the scar in the chest and everything, and a little bit more open. She looks like a struggler, and I like that. This is your typical big epic mini boss. Snakeryo Perry system. So we also gotta have to watch our stand, our uh, Perry gauge as well as well as theirs. Oh damn. Her moveset's actually really fucking nice. Holy shit. I'll be honest, I'm not one that likes pull arms for weapons, but that actually looks cool. Like how the way it's parried and everything, that, that looks fucking amazing. Yeah, this is de definitely when this game comes out, I'll tell you right now, day one, we are going to cover this. Like, straight up from seeing this right here. Like, I don't care if, like, this doesn't hit, like, a global version at first. Like, let's just say they did it region-based and it would be, like, in the Asian region. I would legitimately get the Asian version of the game and I would play it. No shit. Like I know this is gonna be a gacha game, but I feel like this is more this is strictly a console game. It legitimately to me looks a lot better, and I know a lot of people are probably gonna hate me for saying this, but this to me looks a lot better than the uh, Wave and Waves. And I can't wait to see this. Like, I can't wait to play it. I can't wait to get my hands on this. I'm, I'm going to expect that this would come out probably, I would assume, personally, depending on how much development time they have already done in it, that this would be a game that would come out probably sometime late next year. Maybe early 2026. But I would keep my hopes up that it would come out in 2025. Look at the stage. Look at the environment. The environment looks so fucking surreal. Like, I remember seeing this, like, what, last year or the year before or whatever? The very first trailer, the very first one when they were talking about this. Like, legitimately, you could tell that they have upgraded the entire environment. They have done a lot. They have made the models even look super fucking good. Bosses are going to have two phases. I've seen that. Like, when you're saying, like, like, Wave and Waves, like, like, I made a video already on like the difficulty of Wave and Waves. I'm telling you right now, you think Wave and Waves is, is difficult? Wait till this comes out. If this plays anything, and I mean anything like the Dark Souls series or Elden Ring, this is going to be a very difficult game in a general. And this is where, this is what I'm looking forward to, is like you're going to have to understand how when to parry. You're going to have to understand how to fucking look for certain things. Zekrio is one of the hardest, and I mean hardest, Souls-like game experiences I've ever had. And there was no summoning for help or anything. It was you against the world. 
There was no fucking mimic tier. There was nothing to try to make it more casual based to make it easier to play. When you fought a monkey, you killed the monkey ball. So you're like, oh, man, we did it. And the game tricked you. Said, uh, uh there's a second fucking phase and you're fucking close to death. Anyway, we're going to fuck you up. Uh, it made you have to learn how to get good real fast. God, make, this makes me want to play Sekiro again so bad. Well, our main, well, the main character is already dead. So the secondary character, the little we're going to see what she can do. I don't think she's going to win this. Oh, uh, well, no, no, she's doing good damage. I'm going to say, and I will make this remark to any game there is. Give me a Guts character. Give me Giant Sword, fucking Dragon Slayer, Dark Swordsman. Nope, Steve dead. That's it. Put Guts in the game. A Guts-like character in the game. I guarantee you, I will just play the game with just one character and I'll be the Guts-like character. I won't even bother with anything else. I'll straight up fight this boss straight up with the Dragon Slayer and I will be it. I don't care how many times it, it how many tries it takes. Fuck rotations, fuck anything. They'll become a one v one at that point. Doesn't look like stamina is tied to normal attacks. Only rush down like big attacks. Oh, damn, that boss does some fucking damage. That was half health right there. And you're only on phase one. I would heal up here. There you go. God damn, like, I, like I'm saying, like, this is, this is gorgeous. This is, this is what I want so fucking bad. Like, I don't know why it took so long for someone to figure out, hey, let's make a Elden Ring Dark Souls gotcha game. Free to play. Look at this beautiful move sets. Look, look. Damn, that boss is parrying the shit. Oh, oh, there we go. Good damage in. All right. I mean, I, I think this is like one of the first bosses, so it's going to be a lot like the tutorial bosses in every Dark Souls game is probably like, you know, challenging but not too hard because it doesn't look like it's that hard to accomplish. But that leads me to hopefully believe that future bosses are going to be 10 times worse. That's what you need. You need that power creeping in there. You need the game to basically show you, hey, look, you think this boss was easy. That was just a tutorial boss. Here's the real fucking boss. That's what you fucking want in games like this. Like Ninja Gaiden would be also a prime example of that. Dude, I fucking think that this is fucking incredible. I think this is beautiful. Oh shit. Oh, shit. So what? She's a this character, this, this Val character right here. What is she like something that like a puppeteer in a sense to where, you know, she loses an arm. She just fucking puts it back and reattaches it. Just stables it back on. That's pretty fucking wild. Look at this shit. Look, look how fucking cool this looks. Yeah, we've already seen that boss. Show me something else. There we go. 
Oh, we got a behemoth of a boss here. I remember this from the other trailer. Absolutely fucking gorgeous. Absolutely. That legitimately, this right here legitimately, I am so interested in. Like, looking at how the characters play, how the combos are, like, yeah, this is straight up what I want. Like, I want... A Wavering Waves Dark Souls game, not Genshin. I want something where combat actually, you know, is really the focus, the focus point. Because I don't find combat in Genshin Impact really the focus. I'll be honest with you. I, I find that Genshin Impact is way too slow. It is just really casual. What appeals to me with Wavering Waves so much is the combat system. And if you take the Wavering Waves combat system. And put it together with this right here, like the Sekiro system for parrying and such. Uh, you got me. You legitimately made something that I am fucking ecstatic for. So, what's your thoughts, guys, uh, from watching this? Are you interested in Unending Dawn? Because I'm telling you right now, if you're not, you might as well get ready to unsubscribe from the channel when this game releases because we're going to be fucking playing the shit out of this. I don't care. This right here is what I am dying for. I am waiting for. This is a game that I know that I'm going to have to fucking put money in a savings account and get ready so when this game comes out, we can just straight up day one break the bank on the game. Because I don't mind going ahead and being that person to spend money wailing on a game as long as it's a good game and I truly do support it. I think that in that regards, and actually I'm gonna make a video about that later on about talking about, you know, why whaling is not bad in a, in a free to play game. But otherwise than that guys, give me your thoughts down below what you think about Unending Dawn and all that good jazz. I, this is just something I'm waiting for and I can't wait for it. It's fucking beautiful from everything that I've seen so far. And especially now with the new gameplay demo on the PlayStation 5 that has been released in China, Joy. Bruh, I can't wait. And to all my lords of the fallen people, you may want to come back when this game comes out because legitimately, welcome back to Dark Souls, but welcome to a free-to-play Dark Souls. And I'll make you a promise now, when the game comes out, we'll do two accounts, we'll do my paying account, and we'll do a free-to-play account. So that way, at that point in time, we can go both ways. We can do the story, everything, and we'll go ahead and showcase, you know, how to make something optimal as possible with free-to-play, and we'll use the fucking paid account in order to make sure that we correct any mistakes. <laughs> but otherwise than that, take it easy, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.